פגשתי אותך, הייתי אז בחור פשוט קצת סגור, קצת מסובך, עדיין לא ידעתי את הדרך, בה אני אלך, וכבר אז רצה לי לבקש, אז לקחתי את עצמי והתחלתי לבקש. Israel performed one of the largest acts of humanitarian aid ever by saving Ethiopian Jews through various rescue operations. As the homeland for Jewish people, Israel strives to create an egalitarian society for all of its diverse citizens. It's the first time that the Western country can take uh, people from Africa who are not for slavery. For thousands of years, Ethiopian Jews were cut off from the rest of the Jewish community. After a Soviet-backed military coup, life in Ethiopia for everyone became even more dangerous and difficult. Once Ethiopian Jews became victims of genocide and starvation, Israel rescued them to prevent another holocaust. First introduction in 1821. And since then, we have been struggling to get this group to Israel. When I arrived in Addis Ababa, it was at a crucial point where the Jews have left their villages, their property, their house, and they march to Addis Ababa. After seeing their poor standards of living, Asher instigated numerous operations to save the well-being of Ethiopian Jews. I went there, and the country looks miserable, very poor people. And they were under a dictator that was fighting for his life. And there were 26,000 Jews in Addis Ababa who were knocking at the door of the Israel embassy, say, take us to Jerusalem, because the Bible said so. We are waiting for the big bird to take us from there to Jerusalem. From 1981 to 1988, Israel carried out various operations such as Solomon and Moses, bringing over 120,000 Ethiopian Jews to Israel. First part of the operation was uh, uh, rescue of the Ethiopian Jews through the ocean, and later um, it actually transitioned to operation through uh, an aerial lift of lifting them uh, through jumbo jets and Hercules airplanes back to Israel. The Ethiopian Jews faced many obstacles upon their arrival to Israel. I think that every time that a young country like Israel, that has a multicultural country with many languages, many cultures, many religions, trying to adopt one more ethnic uh, group or uh, immigrants group that uh, come from different country, different culture, different language, it is very difficult. came in 91 in Shlomo operation, so being in the Air Force was for me a very big uh, circle closing and saying thank you for the Air Force, uh, which without them we wasn't here. So it was very important to me to be in the Air Force. The biggest contributor to this uh, Israeli culture is through the Army. Why the service of the Army is so important? Why? Because it's the only place where youth from all walks of life serve in the same place. In the army, they are all equal. I think that for us, especially because we came from Ethiopia, it was a good opportunity to show the people who we are, what we have, to show them our cultures, and learn from different cultures. The transition to modern Israel was difficult for many Jews accustomed to living in primitive villages in Ethiopia. Other Ethiopians who came and uh, a little bit uh, older ages, so I think it's kind of hard because uh, the language is very, very different and mentality is, is different. Cultural shocked everything, you know, white Jew the first time to meet white Jew and the food, the weather, everything is new, everything. Even, you know, the name of uh, people. It was terrible to come to school and to see, you know, first time white people and you are the only black in the class and stuff like that. So first it was very difficult to get used to that, but after a while I feel 
more Israeli than everyone else, very proud of that. You realize that even though that the difference is a very big gap between a third world country to Israel, but now I look back and first I, I'm glad that we did that. I mean, I'm glad that we are here and, and I'm sure that yeah. you both uh, feel that same, right? Yeah. The only one rabbi he agree to marry Ethiopian Jews, but now it's changed. It changed and uh, I believe the next generation will be changed everything. Different cultures, you put them together and sometimes you fight and sometimes you feel different or something like that, but it's worth it. I think that it will happen and I hope so because when you become so close to the, to the Israelis then kind of forget from where it comes from. You forget your language and traditions, but it's sad, but it's a good thing because you have to get along. My message is we should not depart from what we are doing. We should continue to be example. Despite the many adversities that the Ethiopian Jews faced, they were able to persevere and integrate into Israeli society. I'm a journalist and I'm a director of Israeli radio program, Channel One. I became the first, uh, not only Ethiopian, the woman in this position. I have Ethiopia's friend in Canada or US. They feel they are immigrants. I came to here for the rest of my life. I came to here for Jerusalem. We pray to Jerusalem. I'm here, I'm very happy. I know it's not easy, but I'm very happy I'm here. Many Ethiopian Jews have achieved great successes in Israel. They have become leaders in the army and serve as members in the Knesset. It is clear we are just now seeing only the beginning of their success story in Israel.